Hey guys, on this episode, I'm gonna be reviewing the Alesis Sample Pad Pro. It's a portable drum kit. It's pretty much a portable whatever you want it to be. But that's on this episode of Everything 101. Let's get to it. All right, hey guys, welcome back to Everything 101. So I told you I'm gonna be talking about reviewing the Sample Pad Pro by Alesis. Um, basically, how I came across this was uh, we had a gig coming up and it was gonna be outside, but it was only gonna be just a few songs, like four songs. So I'm thinking, man, how do we uh, avoid doing all this work, taking the drum kit out and all that just for a few songs? So I, I wanted to just be in and out. Um, and so I started looking at options of things that we could use without having to take the whole drum kit out. And I came across the Alesis Sample Pad Pro. Now one thing I knew already was Alesis has really good products. They're very well known in the drum world for triggers, processing, uh, all that kind of stuff. Alesis is a leading company. So um, I went ahead and got one sent to me. I called up my sales guy, Ryan at Sweetwater, who never lets me down. You guys have heard me talk about him. And uh, it came in the mail and right out of the box, guys, this thing was ready to go. I took it out of the box, I plugged it in and threw in some headphones and was drumming immediately. This thing was already set up. Now it came with several different drum kits already programmed but you can do anything you want to any of the kits. And it, I've learned it's very easy to do. So I just wanna tell you very quickly a little bit about the processor itself. It has eight pads on it, okay? So you've got three pads down here in the bottom, and then you've got three pads on the top, and then you've got a pad on the top left, and you have a pad on the top right. So you can make those pads anything you want them to be, anything. Now the, the Sample Pad Pro can serve as a drum kit all by itself, but it's also something that people put next to their regular drum kit and use it for other things. They, they can make it, they can say, hey, I want a set of congas um, next to my drum kit. This can be congas if you want. You might need a cowbell this can be a cowbell if you want it to be a cowbell. It could be anything. Um, one of the cool thing is we just did an Easter service and we had this next to our normal drum kit and we had some sounds programmed in, uh, sound effects. So we wanted those sound effects to go with certain parts of one song. So my drummer was able to play his drum kit and just reach over and kick one of these pads, just smack it. And then all of a sudden that sound effect was there. It was super cool. So this thing can be pretty much anything you want it to be. Also in the back, you've got an external kick pedal, a uh, place where you can put a kick pedal. You've got an external hi-hat. You can go uh, left mono out, you have a right out. Um, lots of options. You got your, your main volume, your phone's volume. So this thing is pretty much set up to go. All right, I wanna show you my kick pedal because I, I was asking my sales guy, Ryan, I was like, you know, I'm seeing that people are using an external kick with the sample pad. What are they using? He suggested the cat kick pad. And so I was like, all right, send me one. And so he did. I got this thing out of the box. Uh, it's basically that a button that your kick pedal hits. And so I realized that this thing actually clamps onto your normal kick pedal. So you're carrying, now I'm carrying the kick pedal around and this is attached to it. So you just set it, just put the whole thing right next to your sample pad pro on the ground, plug it in, plug it in, and you're ready to rock. So here's how the kick, uh, the kick pedal works. You got it attached and it just simply smacks against it. It's that simple. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna tell you how I've got this one set up. Now this is kit one, right out of the box, kit one. I did modify it slightly, but show you how it's set up. So on the bottom left, uh, this pad right here on the bottom left is a snare. And by the way, all these pads are touch sensitive. 
Now the bottom middle pad is a hi-hat. All right, and I'm gonna skip the bottom right for a second and tell you what this one is. The, the top left pad, or I should say the, the one in the top row here, is, um, this is a splash. We wanted another option for a cymbal. And then on the top left, we have a crash. All right, top right is our ride. And now these last three buttons here are the three mounted toms. All right, so with that being said, we can just play this thing just like a normal kit, knowing that this middle pad is our hi-hat. We don't have to cross over, we can just play it like this. So we got it like this. Yeah, so it's a cool little device. Now, I wanna tell you about the SD card because this was a super cool feature to us. Um, like I said, I wanted some sound effects. So what I did was I just simply went to kit two because I already had kit one set up. The kits are numbered in the Sample Pad Pro. So I went to, to kit two and I just started making that kit anything I wanted it to be. We used kit one at the gig I was talking about a minute ago. Kit two we used in the Easter service. So I made it into sound effects. And what you do is you take a normal SD card and you can just, now they, they tell you to use one um, a certain size and you format a certain way. All of this is in the manual right as you take it out of the box. Now this is a 32 gigabyte SD card. So what I did was I, I created my sound effects uh, in my editing system in my office. I saved those in a certain format. I put them on the card. Um, like I say, then you just put it into the SD card on your Sample Pad Pro, and then you load it. You tell which pad you want to be which sound effect. It's that simple. However, I do want to mention something about Alesis. Now, you can follow the guidelines and you can sit there and go, okay, I got to have it this size, I got to have it this format. But the easiest thing to do with the Sample Pad Pro is to go to Alesis's. Um, website. They have a converter there on the website. So you take your MP3s, that your sound effects, or whatever you want them to be, you run them through the Alesis com converter right there on their website that you can download, and it just spits them out in the right format for the Sample Pad Pro. So that's what I did. You know, I, I originally did all that, but then I tried out the converter. I did what I was supposed to following the directions. But then I just followed the converter for some of it just to try it out. And it literally just spit the files out. I moved them to my SD card, put it in there. And then what you do, guys, all you have to do is just simply when you are getting ready to uh, tell the Alesis which pad you want to be what sound, there are a couple different ways to do it. You can just use your cursor and you go to that particular pad and you can also just hit the pad and that tells the sample pad pro this is the pad i'm talking about you can go down tell the uh, alesis to look on the card and then select just by doing your right or left cursors you can select um, what sound you want and then you save it it's that simple now, if you just want to modify your standard pads, you do the same thing. Smack the pad you want to change. The Alesis is going to go, oh, you're talking about pad four or pad three, whatever. I arrow down using my cursor. I go down to the sound that it's already programmed to. I use my cursor left and right to go to the next, to the sound that I want it to be. And then I click save. So you, I was able to modify this whole processing system pretty much right out of the box. It's just, it's almost self-explanatory and it's super easy to use. So I, after using this thing, uh, after reading reviews, buying it, getting it in the mail, trying it out on my own, 
also running it through a sound system, trying it out on my own by myself, and then actually having someone use it in a gig playing with me, um, I've been super happy with it. So if you're looking for uh, a good little processor that allows you to go and play a gig without having to take your whole drum kit, Sample Pad Pro might be what you want to check into. So guys, uh, overall, it's super easy. It sounds great. It's very versatile. It can do anything you want it to do. So my review is I definitely recommend the Alesis Sample Pad Pro. I've been super happy with it, but that's it for this episode. Check it out. But in the meantime, I wish for you and all your family and friends, peace and blessings. I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.